Hello, welcome to this session on ISO 9001. Today we will cover clause number 5 for ISO 9001 and this clause is very important because it talks about the top management's uh, role in quality management. Uh, ISO is one of the management principles of leadership requires that top management is fully committed towards the implementation, development and maintenance of quality management system. So this clause number 5 talks about top management's role in quality management. First of all, this is standard, um, this requirement of top management starts with commitment and demonstrating the commitment for quality. For that, the standard recommends that there should be periodic communication from top management that everyone should be oriented towards quality, towards meeting requirements and uh, many such things can be done by top management to give the commitment regarding the quality. Some of the things which ISO has suggested that there should be like when the resources are asked for quality, the management should provide those resources. The management should take part in quality policy development and deployment the management should take part in uh, establishing quality objectives. The management should uh, involve in management reviews. And all these tools we will be like looking at in more details in the subsequent videos. But uh, like a top management has a lot of responsibility in uh, meeting the requirements or meeting the quality uh, processes. The second thing which uh, the standard talks in this clause of uh, fifth clause, this is called fifth clause, and it talks about customer focus. Basically, uh, where the, like the top management should also take uh, keen interest in business and look at what are the technological edges and look at the customer requirements in a broader sense, in a more strategic way, the company's capability to meet those requirements and like that. So uh, this talks about the top management's role in customer focus. Another requirement of uh, this clause is uh, quality policy. The, the top management should be like uh, making a quality policy which gives the overall direction to the organization related to quality. Um, out of many requirements and many possibilities of quality policies, um, ISO standard says that at least it should talk about continual improvement and it should talk about um, some of the basic things like um, meeting customer requirements, meeting legal requirements and uh, it should be understood across the organization so the policy should be like more simpler and more like uh, people should be able to relate themselves, it should be specific to the purpose of the organization. People should be able to relate themselves, their department's role, their own roles to meeting the requirements of quality. Uh, quality policy um, should be like uh, reviewed time to time so that if any changes are there, if any new products are developed, if the company has gone into the diversifications, vertical, horizontal uh, like expansions. So the policy should be reviewed for any changes required in such circumstances. Then the clause talks about uh, quality objectives which are the measurable quality objectives should be there. Uh, like uh, there should be smart objectives what we normally say that uh, it should be like measurable, specific, measurable and uh, it should be achievable. and should be realistic, time bound, all those kind of requirements are there in the quality objectives which is a very important tool for improvement. Uh, the clause also covers the planning for meeting the requirement. It's not uh, enough that we take very big objectives that okay we will be becoming a defect free company or zero defect or zero customer complaint but there should be planning that how we will be achieving that defects level and uh, how we will be achieving that quality performance. So there should be a planning for that. This clause also covers two very important, uh, more important uh, aspects of quality management which is the clear responsibilities and authorities for all. Uh, so we have to define the responsibilities and authorities in a very clear way 
and it also talks about responsibility of a management representative which is the company's representative on ISO affairs. It also talks about the internal communication of the quality team with respect to the what is going on in quality, the complaint levels and the field failures and what is to be done for improving quality, corrective actions, preventive actions. Uh, this clause also talks about a very important tool called management review, which is a top management meeting and uh, reviews involving the, like, the key parameters of the quality.